Hi ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing well today. Today I am in my art classroom and I know one thing, I need to get one of these whiteboards for my studio at home because I can put important information on it and I won't forget to tell you. So today we're gonna to be creating a drawing and we're gonna have a focal point in the drawing. A focal point is like a main idea and we wanna do things to make sure that the audience notices the focal point of the artwork and knows that it's the most important part. And we're gonna do that partially by using patterns to lead the audience to the focal point. To do this, you're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil, and you're probably gonna need some colors at the end to create your patterns and incorporate colors into the patterns. So go ahead and get your supplies, and when you come back, let's get started. So the inspiration for today's drawing is snakes. We're gonna take that and we're going to turn it into an abstract picture because that gives us a little bit more freedom with what we wanna draw. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna decide where my focal point is, and it's probably gonna be right about here. Something, I'm gonna turn it so it's down here a little bit. So it's close to the center, but not directly in the center. So you do have to, your eyes have to wander a little bit to find that focal point. And then we are gonna use the pattern, which is kinda of like the body of the snake, we're gonna let that lead our eye around the paper. So almost like I'm drawing a snake, I'm gonna sketch out this design. And you can see I'm not just drawing the whole wiggly line all around. I did a little bit and then I switched to the other side and do a little bit more. That way I can control how I'm using my space. So I go around here for this drawing, I, I really want it to be contained within the borders of the picture. So for this, for this picture in particular, I'm not going to be going off the edge of the paper that much, at least not with my path. All right, so let's see. We're going to go to the corner here. There really isn't a wrong way to do this. So your path can travel around the paper however you want it to. Try to make sure you don't completely fill the paper in because we want to have some background area because we're going to do something interesting with the background as well. Let's see if I can fit this in here. Turn. Turn. I think I'm going to go straight down. So what we're essentially doing is we're creating a path. I'm going to try to stop calling it a snake. The snake was the inspiration for the drawing but I'm not actually drawing a snake. I am creating an abstract picture with a path that leads the viewer around the artwork. So part of one of my goals with this picture is to stop making you think it's a snake, even though I've said snake so many times. So that is gonna be a little bit of a challenge because I've said snake so much, you probably see a snake right now, and it's my job to make it not a snake anymore. All right. So since this is not a snake, you can take some liberties with how you bend the path. So you can see I made this a little bit more angular right there. I could go back and add angles. It doesn't have to move as smoothly as a snake would. There could be smooth parts and more angular geometric parts. And I might think using a little bit of both is gonna make that the drawing look a little bit better. I'm happy with that end. Let's manipulate this end a little bit more. I do want there to be some space right here. That creates a little bit of tension in that area where they almost touch, but then they don't. Okay. All right, I think I'm happy with that. I'm still not quite sure what my focal point's gonna look like. I know that's gonna stand out. I just haven't decided how I'm gonna let it stand out got sort of an idea. We'll see how it looks though. All right, so now there's my basic path. You might still be thinking, hey, that looks like a snake. 
But again, that's our challenge to figure out how to make it stop looking like a snake. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the pattern that I was thinking of in this picture. So we're gonna use, I'm gonna use my ruler to plan it out, but I'm definitely not gonna be using the ruler to draw the entire thing. So that's interesting. I'm kind of enjoying the idea of taking a picture that's inspired by a realistic idea and then trying to turn it into something that's not realistic anymore. So you can see I just added stripes, which is a pattern, which is what I want to work on. But at the same time, I didn't draw the pattern on this as if it were a snake because I'm trying to make it not look like a snake anymore. So if it was a snake, the stripes would have followed along the body and been spaced out evenly throughout. So it's almost like the pattern is just independent. So I'm going to trace what I have so far with Sharpie because I'm happy with it. And then we'll see where we go from there. So you can see I just used the straight lines as guidelines, but I didn't draw the stripes as straight. I thought this wiggly pattern would be a little bit more interesting, especially since I'm going to do straight lines in the background. But you can also see I use that wiggly pattern or that wiggly stripe idea to create this stripe around the focal point. Now I'm going to do the background pattern, which I've got an idea now. And it's going to be based around the idea that this is the focal point. So the pattern is going to point towards this space. Now it can be any kind of pattern you want. The idea of this activity is to create patterns. So Try to think of what kind of patterns you like and give them your own little spin and see how they turn out. Let me explain the pattern that I'm doing right now. It look because it looks complicated, but it's actually not as hard as it seems. So you saw me first draw all these lines like the sun, dividing the paper into slices, like little triangles, like slices of a pizza. And then what I do now is I just go around and I draw a line, cutting each one of those slices in into a smaller piece. One of the fun things about patterns is you can keep adding more patterns inside the patterns you already drew. So I can make a pattern, then put a pattern inside of that, and then put another pattern inside of that, and so on and so on until I feel like there are enough patterns or there isn't any room left in the picture. I think it's kind of fun drawing abstract pictures. In some ways, it's more challenging because it's all about your creativity and what you can think of. And then in some ways, it's easier because you don't have to rely so much on drawing things realistic. They don't have to look perfect. If I made a mistake on here, you probably wouldn't even notice. But at the same time, you have to use your brain to come up with all of these ideas. Now it's time to erase all these pencil lines and color it, and I might add a few more visual effects as I color it, and I'll explain those at the end.
And here we have our snake inspired abstract pattern drawing incorporating a focal point. I hope you had fun with this drawing. I hope you took the opportunity to create some interesting patterns and group together some interesting sets of colors. And I will see you next time with another drawing activity. Bye.